we are testing out the uh, Comrie 4K quasi 4K. I just can't call it a 4K camera. I still didn't see the brand name on there. Um, I was looking at the box with, with GUB, uh, reading it all out over GUBC view the USB uh, webcam recording app, and uh, I still don't see the brand name on the box. Probably, I guess they can use the same box for different brand names because these are, I've seen several videos where they say these cameras like this are, you know, sold under different names. Uh, I hadn't thought about that or I'd forgotten about that or something. Let's see. If, I don't know. I'm going to try the zoom. Let's see. I mean, it works. I saw, I know that, but. Can we zoom in on this box and see it? Yeah, it just gets grainier. But that's the specs. And a while ago, I tried to... And I figured out that... Yeah, it's not any better like that. I figured out that um, it... Um, uh, I've got my, my palette set up for 1080p. And the actual size that it's putting out over USB is uh, um, uh, twelve seventy or twelve eighty or something um, by whatever. Um, yeah, you can't. I don't know that there's a way to. Yeah, I don't think you can see. I'm looking in the properties. The name. I set this up the last time I was messing with this. Uh, I need to set it all up around this camera now. I guess I didn't do it for one reason because I haven't tried the wireless yet. That's the other thing I want to do. See if I can even use it in OBS. It may not be, may only send out a high enough, res not a high enough resolution. I may have to do USB. I'd like to be able to do, well, both actually. Uh, I figure uh, it's nice and cr crisp and clear. It's it's less grainy than my phones. They're 2 megapixel and this is 13 megapixel. Uh Oh, it says resolution leave unchanged. Yeah, I don't want to. If I do anything besides just look at those, if I change anything, I'm liable to. That did it. You can probably hear me, but now I'm frozen. It uh, on the USB cameras. If you get into the settings while they're um, running, it will freeze them. It will break your connection to them. And sometimes, I mean, usually you can just close OBS and open it back up, but sometimes you have to uh, reboot the computer and. Uh, Forgot that. I've got. Uh, let's see what happens if I go in there. Yeah, it's still frozen. These are my uh, my scenes for uh, that I set up for the endoscope. Uh, so see, we can't. It's frozen, but you can probably see that it's uh, cutting me off. That's because it's not. You can uh, set your. You know, you can size your your to fit your palette. You can size your. So this is bigger, so it's off. It was sized for, uh, you know, the endoscope, which is like 640 or something. <coughs> Maybe even smaller than that. Uh, so anyway, uh, I just thought I'd hurry up and do a quick test. I'm getting really hungry, so I'm going to have to go eat something. But uh, Each one, it, it's kind of, I, I didn't realize this until I started using, well, I figured out with my webcams, I have two webcams. Um it um, the OBS and I don't know if it's OBS or more the operating system I'm running for door 28 uh, <clears throat> whichever uh, with US and when I plug it into the there's two USB ports on the front of this uh, Lenovo i5 and whenever I plug it in uh, whichever I plug in there it still goes to the same uh, you know like my previous setup it, it it sees that port like it, if you go into the settings you can see uh, port um, let me since I can use the uh, the uh, desktop let's do that since the cameras all jacked up uh, I'm trying to think how do I get to I never do this so. uh, hardware Into the control center and see if I can just see the specs of the USB. I usually use some apps that 
it kind of scanned the whole system and tell you every little thing about it. It's, uh, yeah, so I'll open this up. And, uh, yeah, it only freezes. I just now realized because I can see the preview on my camera. It has one of those uh, little view windows that you can turn around, and I've got it turned where I can see it in the camera. It didn't jack up the camera. It just jacked it up in uh, the computer in OBS Studio. So uh, when I made it freeze by accident by looking at the, just by looking at the settings. Let's see. Now, if you say USB, you don't get anything. Let's see. Hardware. That's I don't usually use this one because when I search for what I want, I don't find what I want. Uh, and there's I'm not good at looking through long lists of any kind, so I usually don't find what I want uh, in this. But I'll try it anyway. <coughs> oh, I have, I think I have a hardware lister app on here. Yes, I do. So, uh, I'll go ahead and, yeah, I wanted to make sure my video, my, when I do, uh, well, I'm only making a video right now, so uh, it's making, I'm not doing live streaming. <coughs> um, so, let's see if, I don't remember which app I have on here. I, have, I might have hardware lister. I remember it's some weird. Mm. I think it. I thought it was HWL or something. Hardware Lister. I'm almost certain I have something on here, but the uh, the app finder is good, but it doesn't always find what you're looking for. I got lots of apps on here, and again, I'm not good at looking through lists, so I'm gonna look and look and miss them. My eyes are not good at that. Let's see. I don't think it would be in there. Oh, yeah. Electronics, and that's probably not in there. Let's see. Let's look at system. Maybe it's in there. That's the other reason. I, I get so aggravated with that. Okay. Sometimes they, they go into the strangest places where you wouldn't expect it. So, don't want to expect to see it in here, but look anyway. programming I don't think other shouldn't be in the office internet never know of course I could be wrong and, and I actually don't have any of that what I'm looking for LSHW I think that might be what it's See if it's LSHW. No. Sure, there's a couple. Of, there's probably a, something in the, uh, you know, the system menu that would let you just look at the, but you know, look over the hardware. But I usually do use one of those apps. Huh. 
I hate it when that happens. It's, you know you got, you know you probably got something. I won't say I know I got it because my memory is so bad these days, folks. So, well, anyway, there's no point in going on on about it. What I was trying to say is. Uh, Video for Linux and B4L. Let's see. Video for Linux utility. Okay, I don't want to open another camera. Allow te what? Allow testing group for Linux devices. Hmm. I'm going to look at the video for Linux control panel. I think that'll actually illustrate what I'm talking about. That's small. Oh. Okay. So here's the devices. Uh, the driver it's using UVC video. Uh, the card is the card is my camera. The, that's the the uh, it's its name it gives out uh, my Comrie video camera uh, demo one. Uh, the bus info USB. This is what I was trying to get to. And there's a long number. And if you go and uh, compare, like if you have two in the, at the same time and you look in an app where you can see them on both, then you'll see they each have a different number. Well, I've never realized this, never seen it happen before, just didn't under, didn't realize, but in any other, not back in Windows XP, you know, I've had those, I've been using webcams since they were invented, actually. Started out using them in, I think, Windows 98, and then uh, could have been XP, but uh, pretty sure it was Windows 98. Yeah, it was. Um, so anyway, what they would, what they always did was, um, what it does in here, let's just say that, that same port, that USB port there, it stays the same. It stays tied to that physical plug. And they used to just rotate around whatever, any other, uh, op, this is Fedora 28, and any and even in Linux, I've been using Linux since 2005 as my main OS. And I swear it, they used to just rotate. Uh, it, they never kept the same number, which was really confusing. Well, this one does it. <laughs> this, in Fedora 28, uh, it doesn't matter what device. What I'm saying is it doesn't matter what device you plug in there. You're still going to be uh, that port. And, uh, and there says the capabilities, but I don't know what. 0x85, what that means. So um, it's cool. It's, it's helpful, and it's it's good. It's really good because it I don't lose. It doesn't swap. Like I can label things in OBS Studio, and they don't move around on me. What's what's gets a little hard about it is uh, okay the 4k camera I had that the last time I was messing around with this and it's frozen because I messed it up but um, this is all set for the uh, Cronova uh, endoscope uh, and it's a lot smaller resolution so that's why it's uh, you know the camera is sending out a much bigger picture much, much higher resolution much you know it's uh, it's 17 1280 by 720 I think is what it is that's much larger than the uh, endoscope does, but it still does work. That's what I'm trying to get to. It still shows it, but it doesn't fit right now. I could resize them. See if I put up, you can see that blue bar. If I can drag and move them around to whatever I want. I don't want to do that, especially while I'm recording. But what I think I'll do is I'll make a whole new setup, a whole new set of scenes. That's what they call them for, uh, uh, I'll do it while I'm not recording for this camera. I want, still want the endoscope, though. What I should have done is plug this camera into the other port. I just remembered. Uh, let me do that because... Uh, now, let's see... Let's see if, when I plug it into the other port, what will happen. But I think what I would like... What I need to be able to do is to have... I'd like for the endoscope to always be on... If I just remember, I forget sometimes. Uh, because it didn't ever used to matter... Uh, which port you plug it into, but it does on this system. The Lenovo i5, uh, I call it a Lenovo i5, it has an i5 processor. Where's my desktop? It's a Lenovo i5 processor. I don't think any of that information's in here. Yeah, this, there's another system monitor that tells you all that. So, but uh, it's only, it's a quad core with 4 gig of RAM and C. It's working it pretty well, but no, I can't open other apps and do things to me and make videos but I do have to really watch it when I'm streaming that's just OBS studio running and system monitor that's all it's running on the system but uh, 
um, yeah, what would be ideal is for me to, um, yeah, if I remember, hopefully, I, yeah, if I can plug the uh, Comrie camera into the uh, second port, the far right port closest to me is where I should plug in the endoscope and then plug the, ca the Comrie camera, the 4K camera, into the left port, then maybe I can uh, use them both at the same time. I won't do that very often because USB uses up a lot of resources, and I've tried running two cameras at once, and uh, it usually will only run about an hour or maybe maybe an hour and a half before the whole machine just starts to lock up. And I usually go long on my live stream, so... Uh, I forget, you know, about all those sorts of things while I'm busy doing my stream. But um, yeah, this is this, this is the scene I have set up. One of my scenes I have set up, and all I did was uh, add that for this camera in. Uh, yeah, and I already forgot. I plugged it in. I thought, well, which one do I want to plug it into? And I thought, well, I'll just plug it into that one because that's easiest one to reach. Uh, where my computer is, and uh, now I re remember that uh, that um, all the stuff I'm rambling on about. Oh, um, did I try that? Well, I can't do the zoom. Oh, I already did that once. Yeah, the zoom works. Got to be careful what you click on the. Uh, I don't like the coloring. It the default is just too white, and I want to change that. But uh, I was going to do that. Uh, I was going to try to do it with the remote, but I don't know if you can, can even do that. And the thing about this remote is if you click, there's certain things if you click on them while it's uh, running and streaming or streaming over the USB or, or well, it doesn't matter. If, if the camera's running and you click the wrong thing on the remote, it will lock the whole camera up and you have to hard shut it down and turn it back on, turn it off and turn it back on. Uh, the remote stops responding, the camera uh, stops responding, Every the whole menu you know, you, there's a touch screen on there, and there's buttons on the side. None of those will respond, and you have to, well, you can just close the, <laughs> my lights. You can just close the uh, close the screen, and then it'll turn it off, and then you turn it back on. It's not exactly like a computer where you have to hit a hard shutdown button. I guess that is the hard shutdown button. <coughs> but I'm just rambling. Uh, okay, so... Um, there we go. That's a. I just wanted to do a quick test, and uh, first thing I did was mess up. So um, I wanted to go through <coughs> all of these scenes and see how they turned out. Uh, note to self: uh, Camera one should be showing. It's. It's. I'm using it as a security cam, pointing out the window, and it has. Every once in a while, it will uh, just get tired from running day in and day out, and it will lock up and run out of memory or something. Uh, and it'll quit streaming. So uh, it's black now. It's not streaming. So, uh, and none of the other cameras are turned on. That's my uh, intro. There's in that was intro with audio. And then cam one and two and three, which I usually just use for. I don't know why I have it set. I guess sometimes I do use the camera on, but usually camera three. I have three identical phones. That's not call them one, two, and three, have them labeled. I usually use that as a wireless mic. Uh, then there's one and two, which is black still, one in desktop, two in desktop, three in desktop. This is how I used to always do it. So now what I'll be wanting to do uh, is uh, probably setting this one up as the main camera, you know. Uh, like it could, I don't, well, what I could do, I can change the, you know, instead of using the IP address as the IP address I, I, in there, uh, instead of using the, doing over the wireless uh, over the Wi-Fi, I use this. Uh, I'll, set, I'll change what what camera it's using. Use the USB. Uh, it's getting confusing to me. So uh, after I eat, maybe I'll think better. Ten-inch tablets not uh, not on or not in here. Uh, for this camera, close enough. Endoscope. It's not plugged in. That was exit with audio, my music, and this is usually I try not to talk during this time and at no uh, exit with no sound. <coughs> but um, that's how I do it.
So uh, I'm just going to leave it up there because <clears throat> that's how I like to start. Beginning titles, no sound. And if I don't leave it there when I quit, I'm liable to forget and start in some other spot. Okay. So, um, and also I got to remember that YouTube, I don't, uh, YouTube has changed up their streaming setup. I don't know if it's going to break my, this will automatically, it saves the password and knows the place, URL to go to. And, uh, just, you just click start streaming and, uh, there's my, seems to click right there, start streaming, just follow the mouse on the right there. Uh, and it will start streaming. I'm only recording. And uh, actually, what way I have it set up is I click start streaming. It starts automatically recording a video as well. That's my backup video for my streams is the way I do it. But you can also just click start recording, and you'll just be making a video. So uh, hopefully it hasn't messed up my stream key, you know. They, they, they made it just a ridiculous mess. You have to go through five or six screens to get started streaming if you do it on the website. Uh, but this was still working. But now they stopped. They got rid of the legacy, you know, quote, legacy YouTube streaming setup, and they got the new one online, and I haven't done a stream since they did that. So I know I tried out the new stuff, and I could not stand it. And so I kept just using the legacy. So I don't know if they're going to force you to go to the YouTube site now uh, to start your stream, or if you can still start it with one of these app, OBS Studio or some other application. I, I hope so, because that'll be ridiculous. It'll just be, by the time I get my stream started, I'll be so aggravated, I'll, <laughs> I'll be bitching. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> plus it's confusing. It just makes no sense. It's illogical. They make you type crap into all these blanks that you don't need. I don't want to type something in different every time I do it. I get it. I've got it preset. In the, I had it all preset in the YouTube, you know, streaming page, uh, just a Don Bishop live stream, you know, just basic stuff. And then after I've done my live stream, then I go back and change the name to what I was actually doing in the video. Works really nicely that way. Uh, <clears throat> that way you don't spend 10 minutes start every time you want to start a stream. Um, there's enough things to keep track of doing live streams you know, than having to do all that crap you know, set up every time over and over. So hopefully that won't be the case. I have my clue. So I'm going to get out of here now and uh, review this video in a little bit. I really really am very hungry. I need to eat. So uh, then I'll go back to trying to do this. Hopefully I'll be able to think a little better. Alright. Bye-bye.